Hi, and welcome to CMAX training video for using the green screen and the virtual sets. In this video, we'll discuss how to key the green screen, set a new background by using a picture, video footage, or one of many of the TriCaster's pre-made virtual sets. But before you get started, there are some key things to be aware of. Keying the green screen successfully requires adequate lighting. CMAX staff has already taken the necessary steps to ensure this. However, it is important to make sure that all the lights assigned to the virtual set are turned on. Next, you'll want to place your talent in front of the green screen. The trick to a good key is finding out how far away you can have your talent stand from the green screen and still have good lighting with a full green background. To demonstrate this, we will use CMAX Studio Mannequin, the only person who doesn't mind standing still until you've gotten your cameras and lighting just right. The further you are, the better. The closer you are, the more the green from the backdrop will spill onto your talent, which will not only cause problems when you attempt to key out the green, but will appear on your video as poor lighting. So always make sure that you place your talent a few feet away from the screen itself. Now we're ready to set up our shots. The next thing you'll do is set up the cameras you'd like to use with the green screen. You can use one, two, or all three whichever makes the best sense for your show. Once you've chosen your cameras, set your shots to your preference and then lock the cameras down. Once you have committed to using the green screen, the option to move the camera while recording is no longer available. Next, we'll move into the control room to finish the rest of the setup process. When we're talking about virtual sets, it's important to understand that we're really talking about mix effects, that is, mixing one input, say a camera, with another, like a picture. The inputs are located in two places. On the physical control surface, it looks like this. The digital representation will also be visible on the screen. Both will do the same things. It's just up to the user to decide which they'd like to use. Using the digital interface, you will select one of the corresponding ME tabs. They will be labeled and numbered one through eight via ME1, ME2, ME3, and so on. Just like we have eight buttons for cameras, we will have eight for our mix effects. But just as we only have three cameras actually plugged in, we will only use three mix effects, or ME tabs, at most. Since a virtual set is really a composite, two images merged together to be seen as one, each camera, depending on how many you use, will need to be composited and assigned to its own ME tab. Once selected on an ME tab, you must delegate what goes in the A input and what goes into the B input. Remember, we're working with a composite image. We will need to tell the TriCaster which is our first image and what is our second. And most importantly, which one goes in front, i.e. A over B. This is the default setting for our ME's options. To use a virtual set, this would need to be changed, but we'll cover that a little later. I know that my talent is on camera one, and I want him or her in front of a new background. So I'll choose one here on the A bus. If I want to use a picture, I'll choose the location I saved it in, either graphics one or graphics two in the B bus. And if I want a motion background, like a video, then I'll choose whichever location I saved that in, i.e. DDR1, or DDR2. Now let's key out the green in the camera. On the TriCaster interface, you'll see that each of the cameras has a window. Looking at camera one, in the lower right corner, there is a small gear icon. Selecting that, a new window of options will appear. Here, we'll click on Live Mat. This is the control panel for keying out the green screen. Click and hold the dropper tool drag it over to the green in the camera and let go of the mouse. The background goes from green to black, telling us that our background is now transparent. We're almost ready to composite in our background, but not quite yet. If you notice, we have a little bit of green washing over onto the hair and the face. In this same control panel, you have some other controls that will help with this. You can adjust your smooth and tolerance levels until you find a blend that eliminates as much of the green as possible. Once you've finished with the adjustments, you'll be ready to set up your virtual set.
It's good practice to start with ME1 if you're only using one camera with the green screen. If you're using all three cameras, it's less confusing if you assign each camera to its corresponding number, i.e. camera 1 is assigned to ME1, camera 2 to ME2, and so on. Let's start with ME1. I'll make sure this tab is highlighted, I'll select the corresponding number in the A bus, and then select the appropriate location for my background on the B bus. Done. Now I'll be able to use my newly composited image for my show. All I have to do is press ME1 on the switcher, and the virtual set is now visible. If I were using all the cameras on the green screen, I would simply repeat these steps for each. And once I'm ready to begin my show, I'd only use the ME buttons on the switcher to either cut to or change cameras on my virtual set. Now let's discuss the pre-made templates that are offered within the TriCaster itself. Setting up and using a template is just as simple and easy. After the cameras have been appropriately keyed and you're ready to choose your background, simply click on the plus sign icon here next to default. A new window pops up and gives you a range of options to choose from. By scrolling down, you can see a variety of virtual sets to work with. Depending on your needs, some will be a simple background, like this one. Others will give you a little flexibility in customizing the set with any graphics or videos you would like to display. These will allow you to have two inputs, your talent in one, and then your picture or video in the other. The set will display what input will appear where. For example, in this virtual set, you can see where your talent will be, which is represented by the grayed out area labeled A, and then where your picture or video will be displayed, labeled B. Simply come down here and choose where those images will be coming from. So I'll choose one for A and graphics for B. The last thing we'll briefly cover is using multiple cameras for some of these virtual sets. Many times you'll see that one particular design has three different options. These are different angles that are based on a typical three camera talk show type setup. Like for this set, we have a left, a right, and a center angle to be used with all three of our studio cameras. You don't have to use these, but you can see that they do help add a little more realism to your virtual set. That about wraps up our training video for using the green screen and using the virtual sets. Remember, staff is always available to answer any questions or concerns you may have in using our equipment, and we'll be happy to assist you when you're ready to begin recording your show. Thank you for watching.